hello 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 good morning familia welcome welcome my name is magdalene janet if you're new welcome to the fam please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time and come visit me on tiktok and Instagram because i'm there daily and of course welcome back to my oldies but goodies so fam i was thinking i want to do a full face of high-end makeup specifically sephora since the sale is still going on and i want to show you a sephora haul also using the products oh my god i can't speak today but anyway let's start with this mara lip balm i I really like this i've been using it for like a little over a week it gives you a nice natural color and it's not thick like i use it a lot when i work out so i have a little bit of moisture in my lips so it's in my workout bag and i love it look at this color it's so nice it's not heavy either let's start with the eyes remember i was telling you that i needed new tape you guys told me to buy the tape on sephora especially because it's on sale I typically just use scotch tape. I got the actual, I don't know, face tape, whatever this is called. Let's open it up. How does it look? I have never used any of these. I know e.l.f. has this too. And apparently this is like super sticky, which is what I need. You guys, my desk is a hot ass mess. Maybe I should just put things on the floor and then pick it up as I go. Oh, it looks like this. Okay, cut maybe like this, like a little tiny piece. And then how do you like open it? Oh, like this. Oh, oops. Try one more time. Hold it like this. And then here we go. Oh, it feels sticky. Which means I have to stick it on well. You know, I like to go right underneath here. Oh, okay. She stuck. So let's use some Tower 28 concealer. I really love this concealer for my under eyes. Let's see how it acts as a primer. <laughs> this concealer is such a perfect serum pigmented concealer and it has like this gel like too. Oof. This is going to be my third look using the Huda Beauty palette. I want to use brand spanking new makeup. I know I already did a video like this, but this is even newer makeup than the last video. <laughs> Honestly too, it's actually my haul because this is technically part of the haul i purchased it during the sale and i got the 20 percent off looking at the palette you guys saw i did a whole review on this i want to really work with the purples today and you already know i will tag all the products i use today and link them i was gonna say something oh yeah we're also getting ready because i am going to lunch with my friend so let's use this shade right here beauty chaos i'm like let me get ready get all parties for lunch you know I'm also filming this for youtube shorts this look you have it on there too and i'm just gonna tap beauty chaos right on the crease let me get that oh wow this is pretty this palette it's beautiful it's cool tone purples not grays i love it oh okay okay and I kind of low-key want to keep this look super simple. We're going to get strong AF right here. And we're going to plop this baby down here. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know, I always like to place it with my finger. And then with a small brush, I'm just going to move it and place it right here where like my little edges are, where my finger is a little too big. Oh my goodness. And then now that I'm looking, I'm like, I need a little more depth. We're going to get Nirvana right here and actually use the tip of this and kind of just darken it right here. And then maybe like blend it out here. Looking a little harsh, we're going to get our first brush and we're going to start smoothing it and blending it out. Now let's get this inner corner. I'm so excited because this has a little bit of silver. We're going to mix these two just like a little right there. Yeah, this is as easy as this look is about to get. Maybe get a little bit. Let's mix that and then tap it into the black. Let's see what we get. Yeah, just like not a wing, maybe something a little buffed out like this. And this is t this tape is going to keep us with our lines a little straight. See that bit of depth? It kind of just gave the eye. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love this. Cut the eyes a little more on the circular side. We can bring this up. The wing, make sure you keep your eyes open so when they're open, you can see where that fold is. Like I have a little fold right here. You see that one? Yeah, I'm gonna go back to strong AF and just kind of add it there. And let's see, let's see. Ooh, we like that. I'm gonna get this Sephora brush 22, literally one of my favorites. See how thin it is? We're gonna clean this up like this. First impressions, the tape, it worked. I like that it doesn't pull on your skin and it does stick down. 
Let me finish this line. Three, two, one. Done, done. Before I forget, my brows, you guys know, I love the Rare Beauty brow pencil and I use the Refi today because the Rare Beauty brow gel is out of stock, but I love that brow gel so much. I just wanted to mention that. And my mascara combo is this one. I always get asked what it is. It's these three. I actually purchased this during the sale, the Lancome, the Lengthening Mascara, and then the Primer, which is so great. I've tried other primers, doesn't work as well. And then the Fenty Hello thick gives great volume oh let's move on you guys i had to i had to repurchase the cali ray primer because i ran out of my mac primer i'm like okay i think it's time to restock a little bit oh my god i'm so excited this primer is so good when i tell you just a little bit. The thing about this, the way it's gonna work, because it does blur, you have to let it dry down. It does have a bit of a thicker texture. So give it at least three minutes to really dry down. Cause you see, look, like how moisturizing it is. I'll be back. Okay, you guys saw, I reviewed this yesterday and this is the Nessa Myricks Eyes, Cheeks, Lip, Brows Palette. Talking about brows, add a little bit of color to the brows. I kind of want this and this. This powder is so pigmented. You guys saw in the video. I'm just going to add a little bit more because I have darker eyeshadow. My eyebrows can look super light quickly. Depending how much eye makeup you have, it depends how much or how dark your eyebrows should be. Like if I wasn't wearing a lot of makeup, this would probably be too dark for my brows. You can always darken up your brows a little bit and powders help because it just adds a little mm to it, you know? So that's the nice thing about this palette. And then this big side, it's the pomade I think I used these three yesterday so I'm going to underpaint with this I want to see how it's gonna look I've been loving to underpaint and I really like that this palette really grabbed product well with the brush I think it's not giving me as much as I want somebody told me these come out oh yeah they do look you have this little corner to just pop it out oh, okay nice and then you can grab the product like this like this oh I see yeah product is grabbed better this is the shade chiseled i'm using all kinds of colors okay oh yeah i like this getting some harvest it's a little bit red i kind of like that red yeah okay i like that you could take it out i didn't know that you guys know when i review things i don't ever watch reviews about the product and now a little bit of blush because i want to match my eye look i'm gonna use this one from rare beauty it is in faith a little bit right there you have to be careful with purple because if you have purple under eyes that's gonna really pull it out so we're gonna have to really color correct the under eye area and it's because purple on purple we're gonna let that dry a little bit and the color corrector i've been loving is this huda beauty peach do you guys know of a good yellow color corrector that a high-end brand has let me know oh my gosh wait i got this i got this i forgot sephora pro brush set i've been eyeing this for like a year now anytime the sale comes i'm like should i get it should i get it today i got it the brushes that come in is all of these let's use brush oh let's use brush 47 Look at this. Ooh, I like this. So with brush 47 lit, oh my God, the blush. You guys, the blush dried. Let's wet it again. Okay, my bad. I messed up, I messed up. It doesn't have to be too neat. And then I also got the sponge. I always re-up on the sponges. Oh my God, look at this. So let me go wet my sponge. No lie, you guys. I legit only like the pink sponge. I tried the green one. I like the green one too, but not every color works the same. We're going to start blending the Huda Beauty corrector with the sponge to help color correct that darkness. I need to fix this blush. Oh, this looks bad. Look at the brush barrel. That's so cute. Now we're just gonna start using the finger. Oh, wee. <laughs> get the blood i mean this looks like a straight up bruise huh oh there we go there we go but luckily we're about to underpaint so get a little more of the vanessa myrick i'm using the shade harvest just so we add it here and now moving on let's grab what brush let's see how 93 is 93 looks like this let's look at 59 this is like a powder brush or it could be a blush brush brush 98 Oh, like a highlight brush. You see that? Brush 20. Oh, the one I just talked about. 
with the spoolie. Oh, this is a good spoolie. I like spoolies that are shorter. I think they work best for your brows. Brush number 27. Oh, a blending brush. I could have used that today. Oops. Brush 15. Is this the brush I have? It is. Yay. I love it. It's one of my faves. Brush 71. My favorite concealer brush because look, you see that? You can just ooh, get there. We're going to mix two foundations. These are the newest foundations that I have and that I like. They're more skin tint, lightweight foundations. These are not full coverage. I have four two-day reviews on both of these. I really, really like them. You guys know how I love to mix foundations. I'm going to get a little bit of Estee Lauder. A little mixy mixy. Ooh. And then anytime I underpaint, I like to stamp this on. This is always going to be on top of the blush bronzer actually today girl because this blush is out of control and then i like to always grab the butt of the sponge and start blending because this is a lightweight foundation let's see how much it'll cover my purpleness and the idea of underpainting what's underneath really just shines through especially throughout the day and i find that it's a lot faster i mean obviously today we had a bit of a mishap but it's okay i'm gonna have to add a little more full coverage foundation so let's add a little bit of long comb just literally a small amount let's see i really like this one was recently formula reformulated i find that it's a little more blurring you see how i just covered that up these are they're like your skin but better so i wanted to use them because they're new and I'm like, wait, I haven't touched on these too, too much. Well, no, the Estee Lauder I've used a lot. But I was checking in like my reviews. I was like, okay, these are the newest Sephora foundations. But this is also new. It re-released earlier this year for sure. Okay, okay, we're back in the game. We're back in the game. All right, moving on to the concealer. We're going to use Tower 28 because it is it's one of my favorite concealers. Tower 28 did the thing. I really thought like when I first saw it, I was like, I don't know how much pigment it would have, you know, because Tower 28 is like your skin but better type but no they really did the thing with this one i like it so much i like that tower 28 it's not that expensive it's one of the more affordable brands at sephora you want to allow your concealer to dry down a little bit because that dry down time you give it it becomes thicker and it adheres to the skin a little bit better waiting this time typically works very well with a hydrating concealer if you do that with a matte concealer it's gonna dry and literally not move depending on the type of concealer you have is how much time you could wait with the matte concealer you can wait but not as long i would say give it 20 seconds but i feel like nowadays matte concealers are not as popular as they were so like the newer concealers coming out have hydration in them let me focus here <laughs> look at this seamless concealer does no wrong i swear and you see look darkness where i recently got this in pr the jimon she prismate powder but the shade five i want to use it more for my skin today the shade i typically use is shade three it's kind of their pink the pink one i'll just use for my under eyes just to demonstrate both of them for you but if you're my skin complexion i would suggest three or number four this powder it's legit. It truly is. It's expensive AF, but it's worth it. I've literally bought two. I'm getting rid of the creases. You guys saw in the vlog, vlog number nine, I went to an event and oh, I won a giveaway actually. And that's where this powder came. I was like, oh my God, I never win anything, you know? Let's see. Put the puff and let's just open it up. This is shade five. It looks more of a banana shade. It has banana shade and then a little bit of orange, a little bit of pink and like a peach. Oh wow, okay. So I'm gonna just do this motion. I'm gonna use the pink powder, powder number three to set my under eyes. I'm using three because it's a lighter shade. I typically use the Maybelline powder, that's my jam. But we're like high end today, you know? You always wanna even it out on your powder puff. We're gonna look straight ahead, set, and then look up and get all the little nooks and crannies. Oh, another thing about the Givenchy powder, it does have a scent. And this shade number three has a little bit of sheen in it. So beware. I'm curious to see how this one is. I don't know if it has like that sheen to it. So while that kind of bakes a little bit, I'm going to get shade number five. This is how it looks. Oh, that's a good shade. I feel like it's closer to my skin tone. This probably wouldn't work well for my under eyes because it would darken it a little bit. So if anything, I would use this for my face 
So this is how it looks. And let's just start setting the face down. It doesn't have the sheen. Oh no, this one looks matte, matte, matte. So let me look close. You guys know I have oily skin, so I do set down well. Depending how your skin is, depending how much powder you like, you know, it depends how you like your makeup. I always like to just show you why I do my makeup the way I do, you know? Okay, this is nice. It's definitely matte, and it will give you a nice color if you're my complexion. Yeah, I'm like, okay, it looks good. First impressions, this powder... It's nice. This eye is bothering me. You see that? I keep looking at it. This eye is good. I need to fix that. Okay. Remember when I reviewed it? I just didn't like... We're going to get the shade Bark. I didn't like that we had a patch because I removed it. I can really get my brush into the product. And let's kind of just add a little bit. Oh, yeah. I see. I'm just going to add this as a bronzer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like this. Just a little bit. Nothing too much. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. Do I have a new blush? Oh, yeah, I do. Let's use the Givenchy Loose Br Blushes. I have the shade number five. Kind of tempted to use this brush, brush 59. I'll put a little bit. This is loose blush. Oh, this is too much. This blush is so, and I mean pigmented. You know what? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go like that, go like that. And then on the cap, I'm just going to spread it out. You see, look. Oh, and I'm using this shade because it has like a little bit of purple. I'm trying to match our eye. I think our eye is a little more purple then. Lately, as in literally like four days ago, I started putting my blush on with something bigger. Like how much more blended it looks. It's because the bigger the brush, the more spread out product is going to be. And I typically don't like these brushes because I do have a small face. I'm just always scared it's going to explode. If I place it here and just kind of keep it, It'll stay. I forgot to get rid of this bake. Oops. I always do that. I recently got my hands back on this one and I love it so much. The Urban Decay All Nighter Vitamin C. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what is it? Oh, did I tell you guys? This Sephora collection eyeliner, it's in the shade 54 Coconut. I like that it's matte. It glides on very nicely. It dries down and then I go in with the second layer and it stays. It stays. Let's see? Then we dry, and I like to always go with my powder puff and go back. I'm looking at my skin, I'm like, wait, I need a little bit of highlight, you know? This highlighter right here from Rare Beauty has had me in a choke hold. This is so pigmented. I'm using the brush 98. Look, I'm just gonna add it right here, like on the apples. I've been loving the look of highlight right on my apples. I used to put it all here. Fine, like this looks best. I like to get my blush brush and then marry all that in. So it's blended. Now I need to figure out this lip because I have no lip combo that I could think of. BRB on that one. So I think I'm going to do Rare Beauty in Gifted and then Rare Beauty in Affection. This is their lip tint. So I want to add the tint. I need a darker lip liner. This is how it looks. Dab my lips. You see we have a nice color. Oh yeah, this lip liner is darker. Makeup Forever Universal Earth. Mm, oh, okay. These lip pencils from Makeup Forever are now my new fave. Found it, found it. Okay, so this is the combo. Urban Decay Give Em Back Talk. They're lip bond. Kind of like a gray. Here, let me show you. You see up against the lip liner? Oh, mm-hmm. I meant to the brightening shade in my under eyes, like the cream, but I forgot. So what I'm going to do is grab the powder. So this is the shade Sand Stone, right? I'm going to even it out and then we're going to just add it here to brighten that under eye. Just a smidge. I think we got it down. We got it down. We got it down. So this look, for some reason, it was a lot harder to come together than I thought. Okay, that's what happens. Makeup, sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's not. Today, I think it's all right. I really like the eyes, eyebrows. Eyebrow products are amazing. I love the Danessa Myricks palette. Where did I put it? I don't know where I put it. I just love how versatile it is. The Huda Beauty, I've used it now 
now three times. It's amazing. Everything is freaking amazing here. I just added a little bit of my Sephora collection powder and then just kind of did this motion. The liquid blush was a little bit funky just because purples also tend to be a harder color to work with, especially when it comes to liquids because they can patch up really quickly. It happens. It's just sometimes the colors. Even with eyeshadows, as you can see, I can't really blend that out. Something about purples formulation, sometimes it's not as blendable and it's not the brand. That's what happens when you're working with purples. It is what it is, you know, no biggie. This brush set is freaking amazing. I love the Sephora collection brushes. If you can get your hands on this set, I definitely recommend. It brings so many great brushes that are very workable for every day. These all work very well. This can really be great for a full face of makeup. All you need is a few brushes. You don't need 500 brushes, I promise you. you just need a solid set, especially if you don't have like a big collection of brushes. Buying a solid set will really start you off. You'll get to know what you like. I recently got the Estee Lauder Advanced Repair in PR. Girl, I use, well, I've been using it, especially at night, and I don't even have to wear moisturizer. It is that moisturizing. It glides on the skin. No wonder everyone loves it. I just love this stuff so much. Oh, okay. Next is Mara Beauty. I got this in PR also. This cleansing oil, it has algae enzymes and look, I've been using it the last maybe week. I love it. It's so gentle and it melts your makeup off so nicely. Here I got some footage for you using it the first night and I absolutely love it. It melts off your makeup very well while being so gentle. Next up is this Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner from Fresh. I purchased this on a sale like I don't know how long ago and I just started using it maybe like two months ago at night also. Uh, your skin feels nice and refreshed. It really provides hydration to the skin. Although I have oily skin, I really like my skin to feel hydrated. Just because it's oily, it doesn't mean you have to skip on hydration and moisturizers. Talking about oily skin, I love this Kiehl's face mask. Right now, they actually have like a whole bundle holiday gift set that has this and two other things that I love. I really like Kiehl's skincare. I think it's great. This mask I use once a week. Typically in the mornings when I don't wear makeup it's a deep pore clearing mask and it does the damn thing especially if you have oily skin we tend to have like bigger pores you know my Fenty brown eyeliner I love it so much and I got this with points the Keratis magic night serum for your hair is that it for my haul but the cell I love to focus on skincare because skincare is something I use constantly and I'm constantly changing it up and I'm always rebuying things like a cleansing oil is something I literally use every night so I will be done with this and I will need another one you know this like oh girl I'm forgetting I bought shampoo too the girl at Sephora told me to it's the Vega Moore GRO revitalizing condition girl conditioner and shampoo so I'm very excited to try this this is the only thing here that I have not tried you know I wash my hair once a week and I typically do buy especially hair care when the cell comes up and skincare like I was just telling you you guys know I love makeup but I'm always buying it so there wasn't anything new new except for these two during the cell that I bought that I wanted to review for you let me know your thoughts let me know what you got during the cell let me know your thoughts on this makeup have you tried any of this have you tried any of these these brands that I mentioned yeah let me know your thoughts I'm actually going to insert a quick wear test maybe in like four or five hours so you can see how the skin looks and I love you guys so much thank you for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me please don't forget to like subscribe click the bar right there and I'll see you in the next one bye